Greetings! Nantroy79 here, and welcome back to another deck profile video for Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alrighty, let's get started, pressing the A button now. Loading game, proceeding. Here we're on the main menu, I'm going to edit deck menu. And now today's video, the deck profile I'm going to be making one for is a Chakra Barthi Divine Dragon Nirvana D Booster 3. Alright, and I'm going to be using this D Booster 2 Nirvana deck as the base of the deck I'm going to build. Okay, let's get started. So, first, going to edit deck menu. Here we are. And like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building today's deck profile video is a Chakra Party Divine Dragon Nirvana deck, composed of cards only available up until D Booster 3. So, first, let's go to. Filter settings, pack, choosing D Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D Booster 2, A Brush of the Legends, D Booster 3, Advance of Intertwined Stars, and 1 Festival Collection 2021, apply filter. Okay, here we are. So, first, let's start off with the Great 3 lineup for the Great of the deck we're playing. Right deck, Great 3, Chakra Barty, Divine Dragon, Nirvana, skills for skill, action as a vanguard, once per turn, cost, discard a card from your hand, if the cost is paid. Choose a great zero from your drop zone and call the regard circle. Second skill, auto as a vanguard. Menace unit attacks, cost, counter blast one. If the cost from hate, this unit and all of your units with the over ability get plus 10,000 power until the end of the turn. So for Nirvana, he's the main grade three to ride this deck. The first skill, just by discarding a card from your hand, you can, you can superior call any great zero from your drop to your rear guard. For example, Trick Star or any other great zero you wish to use to boost your back row or use skills with. And the second skill, when attacking, by paying a counter blast of one, your Vanguard Nirvana and all overdress units on your field get plus 10,000 power. So it's a good way to give yourself more powerful attacks to work with for that turn. So for Nirvana, we have four and one in the right deck. Okay. Next up, the Grade 3, Virena Expecta. Skills for skill, continuous overdress unit in the overdress state. Second skill, continuous rear guard. This unit gets the original power of all of its original address, active on opponent's turn 2. Third skill, auto as a rear guard. When this unit attacks a grade 3 or greater vanguard, if this unit is in the overdress state, counter blast 1, if the cost is paid, and this unit gets plus 15,000 power and plus 1 critical until the end of battle. At the end of the battle, put all of this unit's original address in the drop zone. Overdress state ends here if there's no original address. So for Expecta, it's another overdress unit for the Virena decks, Nirvana decks as well, so. The second skill, just by overdressing it, gets all of the original power of all original dress, including the Trick Star and whatever Virena you use for the base of Expecta. And the third skill, when attacking a when it attacks a Great Fear Greater Vanguard the opponent's field while overdressed by paying counter blast of one, Expecta gets another 15,000 power plus one critical, but at the end of the battle it loses all original dress, so it loses the overdress state, so. Expecta is a pretty powerful rear guard to use if you wish to more or less pierce your opponent through with high attack power and plus one critical, as long as you don't mind losing the overdress state at the end of the battle. So for Expecta, we're playing three of him. Okay, next up, the Great 2 lineup. For the Great 2 to this deck, we're playing Right Deck. Wait, hold on here. Right deck, great two, Blaze Maiden Rayu. Her skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is ridden upon by Chakra Body Divine Dragon Nirvana, cost Soul Blast 1. If the cost is paid, search your deck for up to one Virena. Reveal it and put it to your hand and shuffle your deck. Second skill, continuous as the Vanguard Rear Guard. During the battle, this unit attack, this unit comes 2000 power. So for Rayu, she's the main great two to ride this deck. When her first skill, when riding Nirvana on top of her, by taking a cost, you can add any Virena from your deck and adds your hand, so does you have the material to overdress at, at the most, so for the second skill, just by attacking, your rear guard or vanguard Rayo becomes a 12,000 point attacker all on her own, so for Rayo we have won the right deck, keeping it that way. Next up, the grade 2, Virena, skills are for skill, continuous, overdress, trick star, second skill, auto, rear guard, when this unit is in the overdress state, as when attacking a vanguard, this unit gets plus 10,000 power until the end of the battle. Then Soul Blast 2, if the cost and hate, choose one of your opponent's rear guards to retire it. So for Virena, he's one of the more or less the overdress units to play the Nirvana deck. While in the overdress state, when attacking the opponent, it's Vanguard, it gets plus 10,000 power and the ability to retire rear guards. So Virena is a good way to pressure your opponent with high power attacks and to also clear out their field of rear guards. So 
For Byrena, we have three taking one out, playing two of this here. Next up, the great two of Byrena arcs. Skill, first skill, continuous, overdress, trick star, second skill, auto. When this unit is placed in the rear guard circle, if it overdress, cost counter blast one. If it costs some hate, draw two cards, and this unit was 5,000 power until the end of the turn. Silver Ox is one of the other Byrenas to play in your Nirvana deck. Just by overdressing it onto the rear guard by paying a cost of counter blast one, not only can you turn Byrena Ox into a 15,000 point attacker from the front row, but you also get to draw two cards and possibly increase your options as well. So for Byrena Ox, we're playing four, keeping four. Next up, the great two Byrena Urger. Its skills are first skill, continuous, overdress, trick star, second skill, auto from the hand. At the end of the battle, your Trick Star attack the Vanguard. If your Vanguard is Chakra Party Divine Dragon Nirvana, Soul Blast 2, if the cost some hate, overdress this card to your Trick Star in the rear guard instead and counter charge 1. And third skill, continuous from the rear guard and guardian circle. If this unit is in the overdress state, this unit gets plus 10,000 power and plus 10,000 shield, active on opponent's turn 2. So for Urger, it's one of the other Byrenas to play in your Nirvana deck. It's second skill just after the attack from a Trick Star in your rear guard. By paying the cost, you can superior overdress, urge you onto the Trick Star as stand during your battle phase, and then counter charge one. So for this second skill, is to give yourself another attack to work with, and also refund your counter blast by counter charging one. And the third skill, so as long as it's in the overdress state, Virena Urger can serve as a 20,000 point attacker from your front row and a 15,000 point shield on your opponent's turn. So for Urja, we have four, keeping four in the deck. Next up, the Great One lineup. For the Great Monsters deck, we have Rag deck, Great One, Blazeman and Reno. First skills are, first skill, auto. When this unit is ridden upon by Blazeman and Rayu, search your deck for up to one Trick Star and call it a rear guard to shuffle your deck. Second skill, continuous as a Vanguard rear guard. During the battle, this unit attacks. This unit costs 2,000 power. So for Reno, she's the main great one to ride this deck, her first skill. Just by riding Rayu on top of her, you'll be able to search your deck for Trick Star and Superior Call It. Then the second skill, just by attacking, Reno can be a 10,000 point attacker from the front row. So for Reno, she, we have won the right deck, keeping one over there. So next up, the great one, Stealth Dragon Tensha set. Not gonna play this anymore, so taking two out. Next up. The Great One, Twin Buckler Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard, Skills are for Skill, Continuous, Sentinel, Second Skill, Auto. When this unit is spawned the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until the end of the battle. If your hand is two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So for Twin Buckler, he's one of the Perfect Guards for the Dragon Empire Nation. Like any other Perfect Guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Trading Card Game, he features the same skill and activation. When used to guard with and discarding one card from hand, you'll be able to completely block one enemy attack, but he also has an ability unique to it when in the B standard format, so when used to guard with while having less than two cards in hand, you will, have to pay, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making Twin Buckler a no cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. So for Twin Buckler, we have four, keeping four in. Next up, the Great One, Stealth Dragon, Tokashi Rashi. Its skill is auto. When this card is discarded from your hand during your turn, you may pay this card into your soul instead. So for Tokashi Rashi, it's a pretty helpful card to have in your Dragon Empire Nation decks, just by discarding it for like a right deck cost or discard one cost, you'll be able to move it to your soul instead, so it's a good way to restock your 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 soul with more soul blast cards while conserving your hand thanks to its skill. So for Tokushirashi, we have three, keeping three in the deck. Next up, the great, the great one, Blaze made Aruna, for skill, not gonna play this anymore, taking three out. We're playing instead. Let's see. We're playing the Great One, Blaze Maiden Zimana. Her skill is auto. When placed in the rearguard circle, counter blast one. If the cost and pay, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Choose up to one overdress ability unit from among them. Reveal and put it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So for Zimana, she's a good way to search your deck for overdress cards to, to overdress later just by calling and paying the skill. So for Zimana, we're playing three of her. Now for the Great Zero lineup. For the Great Zeros of this deck, we're playing right deck, Great Zero, Sunrise Egg, its skill, auto. When this unit is written upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for Sunrise Egg, he's the starting unit of this deck just by riding on top of it. If you went second, draw a card. You got one in the right deck. Next up. The Great Zero, Trick Star, Skill, Continuous, Rear Guard. This unit can, cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So for Trick Star, it's one of the main cards to play in a Nirvana deck. 
just by using it as material for overdress, but she also features in a skill that's unique to it that it, it alone possesses. So it's skill walk on the rear guard. It cannot be chosen by opponent's card effects. So it's kind of like a semi-resist ability. The opponent cannot target for retiring, return the hands in the deck, bind or anything, any card effect that targets your rear guard. So for Trickstar, we got four, keeping four in the main deck, okay? Next up, the trigger lineup. For the triggers in this deck, we're playing Great Zero, Blaze Maiden Zone, Critical Trigger, playing four. Next up, Great Zero, Connect Spark Dragon, taking three out, replacing it with Great Zero, Burning Pillow Dragon, Skill, Auto, it's a rear guard. At the end of battle, this unit boosted. Put this into your soul. If the cost is paid, choose one of your units. It gives us 2,000 power until the end of the turn. Silver Burning Pillow Dragon, it's a pretty powerful critical trigger to play in your Dragon Empire Nation decks. After boosting attack, regardless if it hits or not, if you don't mind moving Burning Flail from your rear guard to the soul, you'll be able to give one of your other units, Vanguard or rear guard, plus 2,000 power. So Burning Flail is a good way to not only restock your soul from a soul blast, but to more or less empower the remaining attackers in your field. So for Burning Flail, we're playing four. Next up, the Great Zero, Blaze Minaparama, front trigger, skill, continuous as a guardian. If your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, this unit gives us 5,000 shield. So for Parama, she's a very really powerful front trigger to play in your Dragon Empire Nation decks. Just by guarding with her while your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, she gets plus shield, making her a 20,000 point shield all on her own. So for Parama, we have four, taking one out. Only playing three. Next up, Great Zero, Blaze Maiden Rona, Heal Trigger, playing four. And last but not least, the Great Zero, Dragon Deity King of Resurgence, Drag Vita, Skill Trigger, Additional Vet. Choose one of your Vanguards and restand it. So for Drag Vita, he's the one of the over triggers for the Dragon Empire Nation. Like any other over trigger, the card by Vanguard Trading Card Game. He features the same skill and activation. We reveal during a drive check or damage check. You get 100 million power and draw a card, but he also features a skill that's unique to it alone. When revealed during a drive check on your turn, you get to restand your Vanguard. So, this skill more or less works with nearly every Dragon Empire Nation build, since it just simply restands your Vanguard, giving you another Vanguard attack to work with, increases the chance of triggers, pressuring your opponent, and to restock your hand for the, for the end of the turn. So, for Dracula, we got one. Okay. So okay, the deck has been built, card effects explained, so now we just save the deck, overwrite deck being built. Okay. And so for the cards in this deck, we're playing 4, Grade 3, Shocker Party Divine Dragon Nirvana. 3, Grade 3, Virena Expecta. 1, Grade 2, Blaze Maiden Ryu. 2, Grade 2, Virena. 4, Great 2, Virena Arcs. 4, Great 2, Virena Urger. 1, Great 1, Blaze Maiden Reno. 1, 4, Great 1, Twin Buckler Dragon. 3, Great 1, Stealth Dragon Togashirachi. 3, Great 1, Blaze Maiden Zimena. Four, Great Zero Trickstar. One, Great Zero Sunrise Egg, starting unit. And for the triggers of this deck, we're playing eight critical triggers. Three front triggers. Four heel triggers. And one. Over trigger, Drag Vita. All right, so the deck has been built. Card effects explained. So now it's time to test out the deck. So let's just leave the edit deck menu, return to the main menu, go into fight menu, CPU fight, choosing the deck I just built, and choosing an opponent. I'm gonna test this deck out on number nine, Mirai Mine, normal difficulty. And the battle begins, let's get started. We're deciding who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper, the rock, the scissors. I win. Going first. Okay. Drawing our starting hands. I'm sending a critical and two heals back. Redraw. Not bad, I guess. So, all right. Going first. I draw. I ride for my right deck. Blaze, Min, and Reno. I discard Togashi Rashi. Is the right deck cost? Right. Togashi Rashi skill into the soul. 
That's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. Now my opponent rides the great one. Nevercore, skill to search for Shwadabu and add to hand, okay. Then the base skill, she draws a card. And calling a great one, okay. Vanguard to Vanguard, no guard to the hit. Drive check. Ah, Kyo Trigger, no! She adds power in the rear guard. Here comes one damage, ow. Damage check. Got one, a front trigger, but... All right, power to Vanguard. 18 to 18, I guard a trick star, 23. Guard. And attack blocked, all right. Now it's my turn, I stand and draw. I'm going to write Blaze Maiden Ryu. I discard Expecta for the right that costs. Right. Reno skill. Superior called Trickstar. To the rear guard. I overdress. Virena. Battle phase. Bang got the Vanguard. Alright. First check. Front trigger. Alright. Power the front row. And now, one damage to the opponent. No trigger, alright. Now my... Byrene attacks the Vanguard. Overdress skill. Plus 10,000 power. And I'm not gonna activate the Soul Blast. Just go for the damage. And one damage goes through. Damage check. No trigger, alright. Barsarga. That's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. She rides the Great Two, Halidabra. And calling another rear guard, 9k, alright. Vanguard the Vanguard, no guard, take the hit. Drive check. No trigger, the spear, not good for me. One damage on the way, ow. Damage check. Critical trigger. I give all effects to the Vanguard. Wasted trigger, not a good sign. Okay. And it's my turn, I stand and draw. I'm going to ride Chakra Bharti, Divine Dragon, Nirvana. I discard from my hand one front trigger. Riding, Nirvana. And Rayu skill, I Soul Blast 1. And search my, my deck for Virena at the hand, okay. Next, I activate my Vanguard skill. I discard one. Virena and Superior Call, a great zero from my drop zone. I Superior Call, Sunrise Egg. Now I'm calling Trickstar to the front row. Battle phase for stuff. Boosted by Sunrise Egg. Trickstar attacks the Vanguard, 11k. Alright, the attack goes through, one damage. Here comes, damage check. Ah, no, not a heal trigger! She can heal one damage. Come on, seriously? I have to make Urgur skill from my hand, so blast two cards. Here comes, superior overdress, Virena Urger to the rear guard. Vanguard to Vanguard, skill, counter blast one. And giving power to my front row. Twin drive, first check. No trigger, and second check. Critical trigger, yes! I give the critical to my vanguard, and power to Virena Urger. Here comes two damage to the opponent. And the boom! Damage first. Check. Ah, a critical trigger, come on! She has the effects of the Vanguard. And second check. No trigger, okay. Now Virena attacks the the Vanguard, overdress skill, plus 10,000 power. Total 30,000 to the Vanguard. 
Okay. She doesn't guard. Okay. Damage goes through. One more damage. And damage check. Ah, come on, shield trigger. Ah, unbelievable. How did she get, keep getting so lucky? Virtue attacks the Vanguard. 40k. One more damage. Slash. Here comes. One damage. Damage check. Oh, come on! Over trigger! How can she get so lucky? Nothing but shields and an over trigger? Here comes Bar Sarga. She equipped the spear and Vanguard skill. Calling a great zero. Spear skill. She can equip another order. She equips the shield. Ah, here comes Bar Sarga's skill. Now she can retire my front row. Okay. Calling your rear guard. Skill adding their arms to hand. Okay. All right then. Rear guard to vanguard. No guard can take it. Ow. Damage check. Shield trigger. I cannot shield, but power to vanguard. The vanguard to vanguard. Okay. I guard my front guardian. Skill plus 5,000 shield. 43k. Two to pass. First check. No trigger. Spear. And second check. Great one. Okay. The attack is blocked. And now, here comes my turn. I stand and draw. I persona ride. Nirvana. Persona ride and draw. Okay. I call Shimena to the rear guard. Shimena skill, counter blast one. Search my deck for an overdress unit. I search for Virena Urger at the hand. Okay. Next up, my Vanguard skill. I discard Togashi Rashi. And Superior Cult Trickstar to the rear guard over. Hmm, over here. Togashi Rashi skill into the soul. And I call Expecta to the rear guard. Now beginning battle phase. Trickstar attacks the Vanguard. Unboosted, 15k. She guards with a draw trigger. Okay. Now I'm activating Virena Urger's skill from the from my hand. Soul Blast 2. Here it goes. Superior Overdress. Virena Urger. Counter Charge 1. Power and Shield added. Now my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. Skill. Counter Blast 1. Adding power to my front row. 33k to the Vanguard. She perfect guards. Okay. Discarding a spear. All right. It's going to drive. First check. No trigger. And second check. Come on. Ah, no trigger. All right. Then next up, Expecta attacks the. Hmm. Attacks the Vanguard, 39k. The attack goes through. Pierce, 1 damage. Damage check. Ah, critical trigger, come on! How does she keep getting triggers? Urge attacks the Vanguard, 48k. Skill of shield, she... Adds power, and she guards two cards, okay? Alright, that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. She activates her Vanguard skill to equip an arms. Soul charge, calling, okay? Rear guard attacks the Vanguard. I guard with a critical trigger, attack blocked. Now here comes a skill attack from the Vanguard. 21k. Skill of Sword. Plus power. Okay. No guard, gonna take the hit. 
To a Drypress, Chef! Ah, critical, no! Crit the Vanguard, power the rear guard. And the second Chef, what is it? Ah, come on, critical! How does she get so lucky of all the triggers the whole fight? Here comes an attack from the Vanguard. Three damage, first check. Critical trigger, off the Vanguard. And second check. Critical trigger, off the Vanguard. Come on, a shield or over trigger, a shield or over trigger, come on. Shield trigger, yes, just what I needed. I heal one damage, power the Vanguard. Okay. Attacking the rear guard. I perfect guard with twin buckler. Skill of the rear guard, she discards an arms and draws. I just dis I guard a twin buckler. No cost perfect guard. Alright. So now it's my turn. I'm gonna stand and draw. I'm going to Persona Ride Nirvana. Persona Ride. Okay, then I'm going to activate Nirvana skill. Hold on, what do I have in the drop zone? Okay, I pers I'm activating Nirvana skill to discard one. Superior call Great Zero to my rear guard. I call it Trickstar. I overdress Virena Virena Arcs to Trickstar skill counterblast one and draw two cards. Not bad, I guess. So okay, going to battle phase. My Vanguard attacks the Vanguard skill counterblast one plus ten thousand the front row. Thirty three k to the Vanguard. Skill of shield, adding power, and she's gonna guard with two cards. 53, two to the pass, alright. Twin drive, first check. No trigger, and second check, come on. No trigger, ah. Alright, the attack is blocked. And now boosted by Shimena. Urger attacks the Vanguard, 48k. The attack goes through, yes! Here comes one damage. Yes, critical! She cannot heal! Wasting the trigger effects. And six damage, I win! Huh, that was close. Okay. I got win, shield six damage, double critical, triple trigger, attack 40,000 more power, perfect guarded, opponent double critical, opponent shooting over trigger, did a persona right, eight turns pass, did a superior call. Retired 5 or more opposing units and do 3 or more times in one turn. I got 37.50 VP, total 95.50 VP. Okay, leaving the fight menu, going back to main menu and back to edit deck menu. And so now I've just finished building the deck, explaining the card effects, and just test out the deck in front of you. So with that, that's all the time we have for today. So first off, I want to say thank you to the viewers for watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show support by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that, I say goodbye and see you.